This is Daily Dose of Daryl, entitled, Take a Break. You realize in 2020, there's a lot going on. There's so much that everybody has their own story about, you know, if it can go wrong, it did in 2020. And on top of that, you've got the statue here, or don't have the statue here. You've got the Confederate sons of, I'm a son of everybody. Everybody in my family was everything. And you've got the Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter. You've got the presidential debates, the vice presidential debates. You've got every time you turn around a political ad, your, your mailbox is full. People are bombarding you every day. So this Daily Dose of Daryl is dedicated to you and entitling you to take a break from it for a minute. Chill out, relax, and if you even want to giggle, you can do that. Okay, first of all, I looked around the restaurant. There were five tables, counting mine, within my vision. At every table, my table was the exception, of course, there was at least one person on a cell phone. I thought, as I surveyed the scene, is this what we've come to permanently tethered to an invisible electronic line? Are we so caught up that we can't even eat without being involved with some electronic device? What a shame. What have we digressed to? Are we becoming like Star Trek creatures, creatures who could not exist without being electronically tied into the collective? I was so disturbed by the thought that I just refused to witness it any further. Somebody had to take a stand. So I posted it on Facebook, shut off my Note 10, and walked out. <laughs> All right, it's okay to giggle. So I left there and I got in the car. So I'm driving down the street. I'm pulling up to a traffic light. The other light has turned red and they're supposed to stop and I have the green. But I noticed this one car coming from my left and I'm trying to turn to the left had pulled up and they finally stopped an entire car length over the line where they were supposed to have stopped. So I had to sort of way around to the right to go all the way around them to try to turn left. As I did that, my eyes just caught a glimpse of the tag on the front of the car. It said WWJD. What would Jesus do? In my opinion, I think Jesus would have followed the law and stopped back at the line. <laughs> okay, now I don't know about you, but when I go to the post office, when I go to my telephone to answer, wherever it is, they always say, we value your opinion. Please complete the survey. Well, now that's bad enough, but then they give you categories. Age 10 to 20. You're supposed to check your category. 20 to 30. 30 to 40. 40 to 50. 50 to 60. Other. What? I've outgrown the categories. They value my opinion just like the 110-year-old blind person who's deaf in a comatose state being kept alive barely in a nursing home. I have outlived the categories. <laughs> now, in order to outlive them, though, sometimes we have to take medicine. And I got this one particular capsule, and I looked on the bottle. And it said, take one capsule twice a day. Now, I thought about that. I took it the first time, and then I thought, how am I going to take it again? <laughs> Wait around for a while? Okay, so they tell me last year I lost 182.5 pounds last year. Now, I didn't realize it, but what happened was, one day I lost a pound, and the next day I gained a pound. One day I lost a pound, the next day, I, well, it came out, I pretty much broke even. <laughs> Not only did I lose 182.5, I gained 182.5. So now, finally, talking about these medicines that help you lose weight and stay alive, 
Another one said this, stop taking this medicine if you experience a sudden loss of hearing and call your doctor immediately. So I called the doctor. It went something like this. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Dr. Smith. Hello? Hello? <laughs> when you get it, go have some more fun and enjoy taking a break from the insanity that's going on in the world today. Spend a little time lightening up, laughing a little bit in the midst of all of this pandemic stuff and the chaotic world we live in. Remember, God's got a sense of humor. He made me. God bless you.